Uh, I want to look at this ledger issue that happened last Thursday. And this was a big thing. And I, you know, shout out to anybody in the chat. Let us know. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but um, what you use for your wallet, basically, if you do use a hardware or wallet, um, whether you use a ledger or a treasure or something else, but ledger. I would venture to say, I'd have to look this up, but I would think that they're probably the most popular hardware wallet right now, even still beyond Trezor, even though Trezor, I think, has had the edge now for years uh, because of a lot of Ledger's mistakes. But um, so Ledger, essentially what happened is uh, front end contracts on uh, contacts on DAP front ends, like Revoke Cash, CalSwap, SushiSwap. There was a few that were compromised. Mm -hmm. Um I think it was with, was it actually with that ledger live feature or um, I, I yeah. think it was that. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. It turned out to be a uh, former employee's account yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that still had access to the ledger live updates um, is where they got in. Now, was it the ex employee or was it a hack? Really? You know, I don't think we're ever going to know, but yes um ledger well you know they've been they've been working that way for a while now when they compromised everybody's data the first time that was you know a couple of years ago when they had a huge leak of all the all the people that had purchased ledger um and, and now you've got this where you know you just wonder why an ex-employee still has access to that type of thing uh it just yeah. makes no sense to me and it's eh, it's like just carelessness and really do you want your crypto being protected by carelessness like i i don't know it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me um but that's how they got in that's how they did the update and what it was was a um a drainer essentially if you approved mm -hmm. the transaction it it essentially just drained i think all the ethereum or erc20 um I, I only heard about Ethereum getting drained. Um, it was like, cause it was only approving like one transaction, but it drained it immediately. So mm -hmm. the second you approved it, it was gone. Um, I didn't hear of anything like hex being staked or anything like that, that was affected. Um, maybe just because everybody was pretty on top of it, you know, uh, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, it was definitely these, the, the carelessness, um, has got to be fixed. <laughs> well, they've had issues for a while, like you said. Um, yeah, they leaked a bunch of customer information. Basically, anybody that had ever purchased a ledger, yep. that was all leaked out before. Um, yep. I mean, yeah, at this point, I don't know how you say that they shouldn't be avoided at all costs. I mean, there's no way. I, I, I just based on the customer leaking thing a few years ago, I mean, that was one of the reasons that I decided to go. Not only that, but I think Trezor is just, you know, more so withstood the test of time. Um, I think last I knew it was Trezor Model T was like their uh, top of the line model as far as a hardware wallet goes. That's what yeah. I personally would be interested in. But um, yeah. yeah, this has just gone on for... Oh, and let me ask you this, because I heard, I, I've heard i witnessed people saying this the other day, and I, I don't know, certainly I would say in, in comparison to a, a ledger anyway, but people are arguing now for hot wallets to be used over cold wallets or hardware wallets like this again, because of yeah. things like this happened. You know, it is a company that you're dealing with. What do you make of that argument, Ewok? You know, whether it is a MetaMask, even though we know that they're kind of slowly trudging toward the centralization way of things. Um, but some of these other wallets we've talked about, Rabi, Internet Money, you know, all these different wallets, Aurox. Is there a case to go back to using a hot wallet? Um, that makes it sound like dangerous, but you know what I mean. A, a, a yeah. traditional crypto wallet rather than cold storage when stuff like this happens. Well, <laughs> I mean, there are obviously things to be said for for the the hardware wallets. Um, I, I do believe, and I forgot to bring this up a, a couple minutes ago, but um, I think Ledger also had stated at one point that they had some sort of backdoor. Um, so if the FBI were to ever, um, you know, pursue or or serve them, um, they were they had some sort of backdoor into their their devices as well. So mm -hmm. that was. Well, that was probably I don't know six eight months ago when that came out. Um, yeah. So yeah, they're they're really in trouble. <laughs> they're they're you know just for all of the above. Um, you know, as for hardware wallets or or the the the, the hot hot wallets, mm -hmm. um, you know 
there are things you can do to use them and still be probably just as safe. And one of them is to get a computer that you only do crypto on, um, right. which is, you know, even with a hardware wallet, it's a method that I use um, to have a computer that is strictly just for that. Uh, no emails, no other websites or anything like that where there's a chance um, of any kind of spyware or um, key tracker or, you know, um, key logger, I guess is the word I'm looking for, uh, mm -hmm. to be to be installed. So, you know, something to be said for it. And no matter what type of wallet, your seed words are your seed words, right? You can move from different type. You can go from MetaMask to Aurox to Coinbase wallet to you know, um, internet money for, as far as that goes, you can use those seed words, um, uh, to, to pick your favorite one. So that is one thing that, you know, I hope people realize that, and know is the seed words, you know, you're not stuck with something you, with, you know, one type of wallet, just because you created it on MetaMask, you're not stuck with MetaMask. So, right. You know, it's, it's good to know for, the, the, the novice guys that that you can switch products and and go with something if something were to come out if Richard ever decides to build a wallet you know those seed words could be imported easily um, into that so something to consider and think about but yeah I mean with all the 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 chances of of, of you know them being involved, it's just one extra step. It's one extra middleman that we've tried to get rid of. So I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's, the, you know, if you, if you were to ask Papa B um, what he says, it's hardware wallet all the way. Um, other mm -hmm. people are like, it's fine. Just, you know, be very extremely careful with it and uh, don't really ever enter those to a wallet that's connected to the internet. So, you know, yeah. they're, they're, you're going to have both. You're going to have both. And I don't think there is a right way. Uh, or a wrong way, but as long as you're careful and your, you know, security is 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 up there. Whether you're using a separate computer, whether you're disconnected from the internet when you're entering the words, um, you know, you know, there's several ways to do it. So just be careful. <laughs> right. Nothing. Um, I uh, DJ Moonboy here with the uh, Pink Floyd comment. As Pink, oh, sorry, go ahead. Pink Floyd eloquently said, "Is there anybody out there?" Yeah, exactly. Um, comfortably numb. One of my son's favorite songs, actually. Um, but something I wanted to say about that too that you were getting to Ewok is, you know, I, I think probably the biggest thing to recommend for security is not so much like which wallet are you using? Are you using Trezor, Ledger, MetaMask, whatever? I think it's more so spreading the wealth, so to speak. I think yeah. it's more so having multiple wallets. You don't have to get so complex that you, you obviously you don't want to be losing track of it yourself. But, um, well, you know, and then if someone happens to you, you think about your family if they have to try and recover it and figure it out too. So, you know, you better have damn good instructions if you're going to have 50 different wallets. Right. Um, unless you want it gone forever. Exactly. Yeah. At least have, you know, whatever, three, four, five. It, it, it's up to the individual. I mean, how much do you have in crypto? What do your bags look like? And what are you comfortable with? So I, I think that's the main thing is spread it around. Um, but yeah, internet money, um, to DJ and moon boys credit. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I haven't converted anything over there yet. Uh, crypto coffee just had another great stream with KG, um, the creator of internet money. And, uh, I'm I'm waiting and see you know with anything in crypto I mean I, I do trust KG I like the way internet money looks and everything I it's probably the number one one I would be jumping to out of uh, any new options that are out there with anything in crypto I just like to let dust settle for a while plain and simple I mean um, it's not like anything I don't trust about him or it I just want to wait on a little bit but that would probably be the number one wallet I would be willing to go to how about you Ewok? Yeah, I agree for now. Um, you know, was it Rabby that we just said about something? Yeah. That we had uh, something that happened there. Um, Aurox is still strong. I, I, I know um, Randy supports that. Randy and his, Randy Hilarski and his group um, have supported Aurox for, for a while. And apparently, you know, they're, they're solid as well. So, Whatever you decide, um, internet money looks good, though. I still have not used it. I have it. I just have not done anything with it. 
Um, at one point, there was an issue connecting to some front end. I think it got fixed, though. Um, was it the hex front end? Uh, for, for what? I'm internet sorry. money? Um, I don't know what was. I don't know what the issue was there. I mean, there was a, nothing that was like a security issue. But yeah, they were worried. They were right. You just couldn't use it for something. I on was, some things. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget so, what it was, but yeah. Um, yeah, Nomad, you're you're correct. Yeah, in terms of what happened with Ledger, it wasn't like some kind of just a hack. It was connecting specifically. And actually, I mean, you could argue that it wasn't all Ledger's fault. I mean, I would the blame is definitely on them though. But yeah, it was just certain front ends that had that software of theirs uh built into their front end had an issue the other day. And again, right. it was like with CalSwap, <clears throat> SushiSwap, there's a few other ones, but many dApps and DEXs came out and said like, hey, we don't have any affiliation with this. It's not built into ours. So even if you are using a ledger, you won't have any issues here. So yeah, right. not to create any undue fear to anybody, um, but that, you know, it was a, a selection of uh, different front ends. So. And it was patched within a, an hour or two anyway. Mm -hmm. So unless you 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 unless you did click on that pop up um but it was an approval pop up is what it was thinking that there was a transaction that made you think there was a transaction that you had to approve and when you did that's what got you so yeah again yeah. always double check what you're clicking on always be careful out there i mean you can't say it enough i mean i even catch myself sometimes just like i'll quickly go to a dex or a site that i visit you know frequently and i always just check like okay is my you know connection secure or yeah is my is this a secure site or whatever it is if you're using you know pulse chain ipfs links obviously you're good um but yeah i mean i i always like to double check that stuff so